What's happening, fam? L.A. Y'all Movement Still Moving. Uh, book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. This video is entitled Stop Being a Good Man Hater. Like, <clears throat> there are a lot of good men out here, and a lot of y'all just hating on the fact that men are good or, or that these good men are good men. I'm like, let, 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 let's be real. I was looking at something uh, about the coach of the Chargers and Rex Ryan and the, the, the set kind of got emotional talking about him because it was like he's a, he's a good leader. He's a good guy. He represents, uh, uh, he gets respect and everybody has kind and nice things to say about him because of how he carries himself. And he said, you know, one of the guys said he's a leader in, in this way. He's competent. He's credible. He's competent. And he in he brings positive influence. Those things he just got to lock down on that. And I thought about that. The credible men and the, the good men who are credible, people try to get him flack for being credible, for being trustworthy. Like that's a bad thing. Once you stop being a good man hater, if the guy's good and he's credible and he's trustworthy, what's the? Why are you hating on that? You want to explain that? Because the reasons why you hate on trustworthy men are stupid. Oh, you know, there's no excitement. Oh, so you'd rather be lied to. You'd rather be around... So, because if you'd rather be lied to and you'd rather be around untrustworthy and uncredible men, why y'all need to stop complaining about it. For all you people who don't like getting lied to and like getting played and used and manipulated, and I'm not talking about in a relationship dating sense in, 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 per se. I'm talking about in general. If you don't like being around people who are liars and users and that's not being a real man, then why are you hating on the men who are credible and trustworthy, who, who do what they say they're going to do, whose word is their bond, who have a good reputation, who are known to get it done? What are you hating on? Seriously. All of you people, what would Jesus do, but you doing what would Satan do? You know, because a lot of people are mad when they meet a guy who's quote-unquote credible and trustworthy because they're trying to find a chink in his armor. Hey, you ain't really like that. Uh, I'm going to do something to, uh, to see if you're really going to be trustworthy in all circumstances. Ain't nothing wrong with him, something wrong with you. You a good man-hater. Seriously. You are seriously out of your mind. But let me move on to the next part. Competent. Guy who knows what he's doing and who gets it done. Who, who's going to get the job done. Why y'all good men haters on that? Because see, you want people who are reliable. But here's the problem. See, some of y'all are so terrible as human beings. You hate on a good man for being competent because you know he got it together. You're going to rely on the fact that he got it together while you living in chaos, while you want to take every chance and risk in the world, and it never pans out because you're not competent. You're a good man-hater because you're not competent. You hate the fact or you resent the fact that this guy is, is good. He knows what he's doing. You want him to teach you what he's doing, but see, you might not have the discipline for that. You might not have the structure for that. You might not have the ability to pay attention long enough to actually worry about particulars. You know, the important stuff, the little details. But you mad at him because he pays attention to detail. And see, what I mean by a good man haters, some of y'all know what I'm talking about with you just at this and you just at that and he, he's it, you know, you, you're not hard enough. You're not masculine enough. You, you don't have the confidence and the swagger. Confidence and swagger ain't going to get the job done. I hate to break the news to y'all. Skills get the job done. Competence gets the job done. Not confidence and swagger. Confidence is, if, if you think confidence and swagger gets the job done, you're fundamentally dumb. You can be competent. And have confidence. But you got to be competent. Nobody's just walking around. Um, I got swag. 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 
Swag, swag. You know what you're doing? I don't need to know what I'm doing. Swag, swag. That's stupid. And you stupid for believing it. This is why I'm getting on y'all for hating on the good men. You a good man hater. But guess what? When it all falls down of you being incompetent, who you run to? The competent guy. And he's supposed to be, you know what? Forgiving. But I'm going to get to that part too. I'm going to get to that part. But I'm going to skip to the next part. And excuse me, my nose itches because his mustache is itching now. I tried to cut it earlier, but it ain't working. Um, here's the other thing. Like they said, he has a positive influence. You mad because people are happy. When this person comes in the room, people are happy to see this person. People are happy to do business with this person. People are happy to be involved with that person. Because that per they know that person is going to do something positive at the end of the day. It's going to work out well. You are mad that people are happy. Because this person comes into somebody's lives and makes it better. You're mad because they make life better. You're a good man hater. But guess what? You mad at that. But you like it when he make your life better. See, some of y'all are good man haters. At the same time, you hate the good man that's making your life better because he's a good man. But if he gone... You have a nervous breakdown. You have a meltdown. It ain't gonna be. Oh, yeah, oh, you know what oh. See, once his positive covering and influence is gone, you stuck. But you complaining because things are working out just fine. You know, some of y'all just like ruining a good thing because he's a good man. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. And some of y'all are good men haters because he's supposed to be forgiving. <sighs> but I was just disrespectful. You're supposed to forgive me for that. No, no he's not. A good man doesn't mean he's a doormat. It doesn't mean you get to spit on him, stab him in the back. He can still be, guess what? Watch this. He can still be credible. He can still be competent. He can still bring positive uh, uh, influence to people's lives, and you can, and, and be a good man. And you can still stab him in the back, and, get, and you can stab him in the back, and he can still be those things. And if you need a forgiveness, he can still forgive you and move on. He got to deal with you though. See this idea that you know you don't like a good man because he's soft. Good men ain't soft. Hate to break the news to you. You know who's soft? People who want to take advantage of good men. People who want to use good men. People who want to manipulate good men. People who want to cheat, lie, lie, steal, and cheat from good men. They're soft. You know how I can tell you they're soft? Because why are you lying, cheating, and stealing from a good man in the first place? Because you assuming that he's so good, he gonna let you get away with it. Because if you was doing that with a bad man, you wouldn't do it because you feel like he get your head knocked off. So you're soft. Because if you was really about that, you'd do it to people that you think will, will break you in two. But here's the thing. Good men can be forgiven. If you're credible, if you're competent, and, and you have a good reputation, you're going to always move forward in life. These guys ain't soft. They're just progressive. They ain't got to worry about you being stuck in haterism. They'll get over it, get past it, because they got other stuff to do, because they're in high demand, because they're good men. And thus, this is why I'm making this video. You're a good man hater, because you're not in high demand, because you ain't good. That's what it's about. If you was good, you wouldn't be a freaking hater. You wouldn't despise them being a good man because you could be a good man or you could be a good woman, but you can't.
because you spend so much time being a hater. So guess what? You be a good man, hate all you want, but you can be by your dog on self. Oh, take that back. Misery loves company. See how, enjoy your group. This is. Okay, like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.